Now we ain't saying they're gold diggers, just that their romantic conquests sure help them find the limelight. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 people who found fame dating celebrities. For this list, we looked for men and women that weren't household names until they crossed romantic paths with famous celebrities. I mean, I sit here looking at you thinking, she was married to Elvis, I'm so <laughs> not. <laughs> In other words, these are people whose ultimate claim to fame is their intimate association with well-known celebrities. We'll be excluding couples made up of equally famous people or couples with lopsided fame balances, as those pairings deserve their own lists. Does Sonny still get to see Sandra and do you get to see Louie? No. No. Number 10, Black China, dated Tyga and Rob Kardashian. I'm excited for her, this is all about her. Talk about complicated love lives. Little known model Black China found fame in a big way during her engagement to rapper Tyga but the public became even more acquainted with the video vixen thanks to her 2016 engagement to Rob Kardashian. Oh, and in the meantime, Rob's half-sister Kylie dated Tyga for about two years. I think that she's using Rob to get back at Tyga and using Rob to get back at the family. And that's not all. Black China has a son with Tyga and in 2016, announced that she and Kardashian were expecting, which likely added an edge of awkwardness to the usual baby joy. I'm not gonna reveal the gender yet, but he told me that he wants a brother-sister. The Kardashian-China coupling had a rough start, triggering a social media feud between Kylie and Black China. But today, she seems at home with the Kardashian clan, while E has announced that Rob and Black China will feature in their own series. She filed legal documents to claim the name Angela Renee Kardashian to use the family's name for profit. Number nine, Nancy Spungen, dated Sid Vicious. Do you want to make a cup of coffee? Yes, yeah, I'll make a cup of coffee. So tragic was their love. Dubbed nauseating Nancy by the press for her outrageous behavior, Nancy Spungen was a troubled groupie. I arrange recording, I arrange gigs, I arrange the publicity, I talk to the club owners. After moving to London in 1976, she met and fell in love with Sex Pistols bassist Sid Vicious. There is no future in England's Their relationship was a nightmare of drug use and domestic violence, which ended tragically in 1978 when Nancy was found dead in a hotel bathroom with a stab wound to the abdomen. Vicious was charged with her murder, but just as famously, he died of a heroin overdose while awaiting trial, taking with him all hope of knowing just what happened that night. You really think you can buy it off of me? F you. Take him. The couple's infamously twisted relationship inspired the film Sid and Nancy, as well as the documentary Who Killed Nancy, proving that their love was captivating then and now. In more than 30 years since Nancy's death, none of these questions have ever been satisfactorily answered. Number eight, Stedman Graham, dating Oprah Winfrey. Caller, you're on the air, hello. Yes, uh, I don't know if you recognize my voice or not, but- uh... Stedman, is that you? <laughs> You probably know him simply as Stedman. No last name necessary, just like his ultra-famous other half, Oprah. There was certainly a part of me that felt that I didn't match what he was in his physical stature. He's a very good-looking guy. Writer, motivational speaker, and businessman Stedman Graham has been with the beloved supreme media mogul Oprah Winfrey since 1986. There is no marriage in the works here, as the pair has long since settled into a, quote, spiritual union. You walk into corporate America, they say, well, we're not interested in you, where's your, where's, where's your girl? Yeah. Fans will have certainly heard Oprah mention Stedman on her show and in interviews, and will have seen dashing photos of him escorting Oprah on the red carpet. However, Oprah keeps more intimate details of their life together very private, which makes their relationship even more fascinating to the public. Stedman may never officially become Mr. Winfrey, but his mustachioed face and name are instantly recognizable. And so I'm not threatened by her uh, fame or her success or her money or all of that. And so that's who she is. Number seven, Coco Austin, married Ice-T. Coco's buttocks 
are 100% real. She's an actress, dancer, model, and web personality. But the public got to know her best as Mrs. Ice-T. And as you can see, this little guy, his name's Skimbo. Coco names the fish. Yeah. The bodacious Nicole Austin, better known as Coco, married rapper and Law & Order SVU actor Ice-T back in 2002. And they haven't stopped turning heads since. Whether it's on the red carpet where Coco is a paparazzi favorite thanks to her scandalous outfits, or when she's showing off adorable baby daughter Chanel, fans love Mrs. Ice-T. Coco even posed topless for a few shots with her newborn. The couple became such a crowd favorite, they even got their own TV show, Ice Loves Coco, which ran for three seasons on E! Any given day, I could just roll down this window and I'll be like, Hey babe, roll down your window! I'll flash ya! Number 6. Sharon Osbourne Married Ozzy Osbourne Sharon! Sharon! Who could forget Ozzy Osbourne screaming his wife's name on the MTV hit series The Osbournes? We came to know Sharon Osbourne on the reality TV show that chronicled the family's daily life. And soon, the world fell in love with the hip and nurturing mom. Because we love him. Because it's love, Kelly. And he's a bastard if he doesn't want us here. Kelly, stop that yeah, crap. Who else could keep the crazy and incoherent Prince of Darkness in line? Sharon started dating Ozzy in 1979 and took over managing his career from her father, Black Sabbath manager Don Arden. In fact, Osborne regularly credits his wife with keeping his career on track, regardless of their romantic ups and downs. Would you not just try it on? No, I don't want to. I don't want to wear it. If you try it on, because the coat is gorgeous, we could just take it off. Sharon, long a name to be reckoned with to industry insiders, has since been able to parlay her fame from the Osbournes into a lucrative career as a talk show host, TV talent competition judge, and author. Hey, hostess, I like the way you dress. I mess my pants when we flew you over. Mess you mess your pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, Priscilla Presley married Elvis Presley. I didn't even really have teenage years. I was thrown, really not thrown, but obviously introduced to rock and roll, which is a hard life. In 1959, a 24-year-old Elvis Presley met 14-year-old Priscilla while stationed in Germany. Elvis broke girls' hearts everywhere as their romance blossomed, and the couple married in Las Vegas in 1967. And almost immediately the news was flashed around the world that Elvis Presley had been married. Their happy marriage was ultimately short-lived, however, as Elvis was constantly on tour and both parties resorted to affairs. The two ended up divorcing in 1973, but despite the adultery, they remained on good terms. After the divorce, Priscilla began an acting career, starring in the primetime drama Dallas, and arguably taking on some of her best-known work in the Naked Gun franchise. Of the way we were. Can it be that it was all so simple then? Or has time rewritten it? After Elvis's death in 1977, Priscilla turned his mansion Graceland into one of the top tourist attractions in the United States, keeping alive not only the king's memory, but also memories of their life together. Then walk down a landscape highway surrounded by over 20 vehicles owned by Elvis, including his legendary 1955 pink Cadillac. Number 4. Scott Disick dated Kourtney Kardashian. I think I'm the only one that really does like you, though. That's not true. I think Kourtney kind of likes you. No, no, no. While there is a legitimate argument to put Kris Jenner on this list, due to her marriages to Robert Kardashian and Bruce Jenner, she gets a pass since that fame is shared by the entire Kardashian family. Scott Disick's claim to fame, on the other hand, is really just dating Kourtney Kardashian. I could totally puke in this right now. <laughs> That's so rude. You're acting like drunk slob kebabs. His on-again, off-again relationship with Courtney was constantly mocked on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. In fact, on the show, Scott, or Lord Disick as he prefers to be called, was notorious for his constant fighting with Courtney's sister Chloe. Or, or, Just get away from us! Or, his fashion choices and, of course, calling his haters peasants. Sadly, after having three children together, the couple decided to call it quits in 2015. 
do whatever, but he's not going to be living in my house. Number three, Amber Rose. Dated Kanye West, married Wiz Khalifa. I'm going to just go with like what I know she loves to uh-huh. eat, and that's a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> Yeah, you got it right. (laughs) Amber Rose has had relationships with not one, but two famous rappers. First, the model dated Kanye West from 2008 to 2010, after he spotted her in a ludicrous music video. Then in 2011, she began dating Wiz Khalifa, with the two not only getting hitched, but also welcoming a son in 2013. 14 months after the couple tied the knot, however, Rose filed for divorce. On the upside, Amber Rose came through the ordeal well known enough to segue into talk show duties on VH1. Can, can I say that we've yeah. cried together before? <laughs> she cried, I, I can't cried. cry. And even launched her own app in March 2016, earning her a reported $4 million. Rose has also become an activist and philanthropist, fighting for women's rights and promoting body positivity. So at least she's using her newfound fame for some good. I want to thank everyone that came out. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so much. Number two, Kevin Federline. Married Britney Spears. Baby. (laughs) The common reaction when Britney Spears started dating her backup dancer Kevin Federline was, really? Not only did Kevin Federline already have a baby on the way with another woman when his relationship with Britney started, but the two got engaged after just three months of dating. To almost no one's surprise, Britney and K-Fed, as he was commonly known, got divorced after just two years of marriage. We had two kids. Um, Obviously, things didn't work out the way that they were supposed to. Worse still, the divorce triggered an ugly custody battle for their two sons, much of which occurred under the judgmental watch of the public. Federline, meanwhile, tried to make the best of his 15 minutes and attempted to pursue a career in rapping. Yo, who got it better than me? Federline on the block, rolling VIP. Sick whip, thick rims, fat rocks, I got him. He did manage to release an album, but unsurprisingly, it wasn't exactly a critical darling. What? Rolling VIP. What? Rolling VIP. What? Rolling VIP. Federline! What? Fries! Before we get to our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I love it, so I decided not to be in the campaign so much, but I support my husband 100%. There's no doubt in my mind that Chris loves me. I know he does. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's stop. Now, hold up. <laughs> hold up. <laughs> hold the phone, Jesus. You guys have been together since 2011. I gotta ask, you feeling that pressure to put a ring on it? I'm not feeling any pressure. Yeah. No, no, no. It's exciting to be here. It's my first time and I'm just soaking it all in and just very proud of the award that my husband is receiving tonight. Number one, Yoko Ono, married John Lennon. I love you. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much anyone who's ever dated one of the Beatles has a claim to fame including Paul McCartney's second and now ex-wife, activist Heather Mills. I don't really want this interview to be all about Paul, you know, because it's just like that umbilical cord was broken. He's married someone else. Okay. However, no Beatles spouse grabbed public attention quite like John Lennon's second wife, Yoko Ono. And you do jokes with each other and you kid her about... Always laughing, Dick. (laughs) Do you? John and Yoko had been social before they officially got together in 1968. But once they became a couple, they were inseparable. A situation which is said to have driven a wedge between Lennon and his bandmates. Yoko's own musical career soared to new heights as she and Lennon collaborated, which on the whole met with mixed reviews from the public. Despite regularly being blamed for the breakup of the Beatles, Yoko redeemed herself in the public eye throughout their later relationship. And by showing unwavering dedication to her husband's memory, following his assassination in 1980. Do you agree with our list? Which person do you think became the most famous through marriage or dating? I didn't find out about him having the sex tape until it became national news. For more celebrity top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You got the chance to see it first. This is an exclusive. This is inside our little domain.